Hi everyone, let me see best practices to build an application on Planet 8 and then port it to Planet 9 based on REST APIs as well as JSON. So let's start by creating on Planet 8 a application. Give it a name and we set the application class that we're going to use as well as the ACP theme and very important, the UI5 version. If we now go to our application, we can look at the application class, as you can see, implements two different interfaces. The above interface is used in order for the application class to be used directly on the app designer. The below interface is used for the application class to be used as a data provider class in a REST API. So as you can see, it's now configured that the data provider class is the same, and as you can see on the code, is the same. So let's look at the differences. The REST API directly points to the public methods of the API, of the above class, and also the request and response of each one of the operations is established within the operation configuration. So let's look at the classic uh, class uh, to uh, app designer implementation. So all communication goes to the method handle on Ajax, as we're going to use uh, this uh, Ajax ID that will call the get data DDO2L uh, method. As you can see, the method is a simple fetch of uh, 25,000 rows of a database table. So the REST API is configured and we can, of course, use the ability to produce Open API 2.0 and 3.0 Schrager. And here we have the Schrager interface. So if I now execute the operation in tryout method, and execute, we'll be able to see here the output in JSON. This REST API can be both consumed inside applications on Planet 8, but as well on Planet 9. And that's the exercise that we'll do. Here we can see the output. Now let's go back to the application designer and use a building block to accelerate the front-end development. And we're going to use a simple one to just have a blank page. Now let's run preview. As you can see, here is the application class. Let's change that title by click and edit. So I'm going to call it JSON versus REST API. Activate. And we can see immediately the output on the preview. Now let's add a container. And let's place it on the right place on our application as well as to container items. We're going to use these container items to separate the output from the JSON over to the REST API. So let's first tab, let's call it JSON H, and second tab, let's call it REST API. Activate, you can see the tabs. And now let's use a table component of UI5, drag and drop it into place, and let's add it a meaningful name by calling table JSON. Now let's bind it to our application class. As you can see on the binding cockpit, you're able to see the, all the uh, public uh, attributes of the ABAP class. And we're going to use the Ajax ID that will trigger that uh, exact um, fetching of data. So you can see the combination, the binding between the front end and the back end right there. Now we use a wizard and we select which fields of our uh, above class uh, definition do we want to use and because we did that we are able to uh, directly generate the headers as well as the rows so by activating you can see that automatically the output is generated but on the date format we're going to use one of the pre-made formatters of uh, Neptune in order to use the uh, the data format for the user directly from the backend. And there we go, the output for JSON H is done. So now let's do it for the other one, but before let's eliminate this um, footer uh, buttons by disabling them. Okay, done. So here we have the output is being fetched 
now and now let's do the same for the REST API. So we perform exactly the same um, actions, which is we're going to drag and drop the table. But before that, let's fetch the data. So let's drag and drop a REST API component uh, and point out to the REST API operation that we want to fetch. Now let's add the table to our UI. The table, let's name it table REST API. And now the binding has not only the ABAC class, but also the REST API. So the concept is of the binding is exactly the same if you do it for ABAC class, REST API, or OData. The difference is that I do not need an Ajax ID. The REST API will be automatically triggered, although the wizard works exactly the same way towards a REST API, a no data, and also to an ABAP class. So generated the same thing, but now adding the formatter there. And now we need to go to the REST API and define on the operation what are the structures that we need to output as well. So we're going to have the table REST API towards the IT. D002L. Now activate, and we can see now that we have our data on the REST API and our JSON age has come. Meanwhile, so let's just do a change to the table name so that we can see that when we alternate between the, the two tabs, that the data is different. So let's add here on the text on the header of the first column of the REST API table. Let's activate. And now let's wait for the result. There we go. And JSON age is a bit slower. There we go. So here there is a speed difference between REST API and JSON age being REST API a uh, lot faster. So uh, if we now want to keep the output there, we need to uh, set the cache and then we need to enable the cache as well. Uh, and we need to say which type of cache do we want. That's done by saying that we want to use index DB in this case and activate. Now the first result takes uh, the time that it takes for the request to come, REST API, JSON H. So if you now run it again, you see that output it's already on the UI because now it's fetching it from cache. And now the same thing if I open on the browser, it's getting the data from the cache. So now let's go to the API. Designer, let's uh, export a OpenAPI 2.0. And now let's go to Planet 9. We copied the Schwager definition 2.0 and we import it into Planet 9 API Designer, either by copy pasting of the Schwager or by the API Discover service. Now we add an authentication to our uh, Planet 8 API now on running on Planet 9. So Planet 9 is now a proxy. And now I can test it on the API client and see if the data that I get on the response is already the data coming from Planet 8. And now it's done. The connection between Planet 8 and Planet 9 is established as well as we can fetch the data. So now let's go to the app designer on Planet 9. Let's create a new application. And let's import the file that we exported by copy to file and now paste from file back into Planet 9. So we have the Planet 8 app running on Planet 9 because here we don't have the Ajax calls that we have. So let's remove that tab. And now let's see what we need to adapt. First of all, the formatters need to be adjusted to the formatters that exist within Planet 9, which are different. So if I add now here the REST API component, I will now be mirroring the REST API from P8 that is being proxied on Planet 9. I pick the same operation, but because now I'm proxying it, uh, I have to use a multimodal because the uh, response from the API is nested. So I have to bind the uh, API response to the multimodal then I need to go to the multi model and say what is the model source. As you can see, it's the get detail response. And now I can go to my UI. I can also set the cache not on the UI, but I set the cache on the multi model. That's also a difference. 
So in this case now, the, I can map the output of the UI, the model path, to my multi-model result. Now I can go straight to the table uh, that has the data that I need. And now I rebind the fields exactly in the same way as you did it on P8 App Designer, you do it on P9 App Designer, but now you're binding to the multi-model, as you can see there on the text. Now, if I just uh, activate and run in the designer, I'll be able to see the output, but as you can see, the date is not formatted. So let's format the date. So here we have a slightly different way to do it because we have a uh, formatter that um, comes from the code snippets. So if I search here date, I'll be able to see it. I can copy it and add it into my uh, formatter uh, JavaScript coding. And then I can use the advanced features of the editor uh, to uh, find and replace uh, what it says by your field with the context, which is the uh, field that I'm getting from the binding. So removing this and now activating, and I should be able to have my data both cached as well as uh, with the right formatter. So how do I make sure that I get exactly the same look and feel? That should be by going into the settings of the application and setting the application settings to mirror the same UI5 version. But in this case, because we are on Planet 9, we're using the open UI5, but I can use the same the Quartz theme. So let's use the Quartz Lite theme and the UI5 version 171. This is to make sure that the application is rendered exactly in the same way. So if I go back, now the application is rendered. 